Now, um, usually I don't do this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break you off with a little bit of an unboxing of a micro aircraft. That's right. Normally, I don't do unboxings of aircraft, especially micro aircraft. This here is the Traxxas QR1, and I'm doing an unboxing because, well, it's got the Traxxas name on it, and like it or not, hate it or not, a lot of people like anything that has the name Traxxas on it, uh, or at least like to hate on them. So no matter what, people want to see the stuff. So I'm here to please. So here it is, unboxing. The factory seal's already been broken. Uh, not sure what's up with that. But unboxing the Traxxas QR1 quadcopter. Now, let's just get this out of the way right from the start. Change my angle here a little bit. Yes, I am aware of the Husban X4. Don't harass me about the Husban X4. It's been talked about ad infinitum on the forums, uh, in YouTube comments, everywhere. This is an unboxing of the Traxxas QR1. Save your ranting about the Husban X4 for elsewhere. So here we go with this product. Uh, that is a controller. Yep. That is the quadcopter itself. This is a little bit odd to me in that the, uh, the colored, colored, um, rotors are towards the rear. Normally, from what I've seen, normally they'll put the, the non-black rotors towards the front on most uh, little quadcopters that I've seen. They do have an extra set of rotors here. And, oh, check this out. This thing uses triple A's. That's for this. It uses triple A's and they give you little Traxxas branded triple A's in the package. Um, uh, Triple A is not the most common of batteries, so I'm actually glad that they include those in there for whatever, you know, whatever it's worth. It's obviously not worth a tremendous amount of money to include those, but it's a nice convenience and I appreciate it. Uh, here's a battery for the copter itself. This is a, <laughs> again, Traxxas branded, of course, a 240 milliamp hour one cell LiPo. And, uh, it's not the, not the flattest of things here. It's got a little bit of weird humping action going on there. Oh, baby. Yeah, that was really bad. But uh, yeah, battery. Charger is here. All right, I'm gonna actually open this up so you can see a little bit better what's going on here. This is a USB charger. You need to plug this into a powered USB port and uh, Ooh, it's a dual, yeah, duh, right there, dual battery charger. Cool. So you plug this into here, and then you plug this into a powered USB port on any device that has one, and you can charge up two batteries at one time. Why do they give you the ability to charge up two batteries at one time when they only give you one battery? Well, they don't only give you one battery. You may have noticed there's an extra little lead sticking out the back of here. That's right, there's already a battery in the thing. Check that out. So we get two batteries and we get a charger that will charge up both of them at the same time. Uh, we'll have to find out for pur purposes of the review uh, how long each battery lasts and how long it takes to charge up. But uh, that's nice that they, they included those two in there. So let me go ahead and just sweep this stuff off to the side. Oh, there's, there was one other thing that, sh that showed up in the, the little bag with the charger it was this small little uh, screwdriver number zero I guess or whatnot but uh, uh, screws on this thing Phillips head there are three there's one there one there one there that'll allow you to take off the entire bottom of this and I see that uh, this was not quite assembled right there we go get in there there you go that's more like it um, that'll take off the entire bottom of the chassis which will just expose not much uh, I'm assuming that that will allow you to take apart these these end pods and maybe change out the motor or a motor um i can't see from here uh, actually probably not it looks like they're soldered in uh, the motor leads are soldered directly onto the pcb one of them i can see right down here i don't know if you're going to be able to see it but 
because uh, of the, the lighting, but the, the blue lead down here is riding a little bit high on there. Might have been a little bit a little bit uh, too fast on the on the assembly line right there, but hopefully this thing will work. There it is. That is the Traxxas QR1. And uh, maybe Q stands for cute, because it's a tiny, tiny little bug. Um, uh, this is just about as, as small as they get for uh, for quadcopters right now that you can just go out and purchase, not something that's custom built. Uh, direct drive, uh, these are airplane style uh, uh, rotors, uh, not not uh, not heli style. Um, they almost almost look like slow slow flyer blades, but uh, there's a fair amount of pitch to them. But yeah, direct drive from the motor motor can is is pretty long, though the diameter is not uh, very much. It's a kind of sturdy feeling thing, surprisingly, for how small it is because. The, the structure, this is all one piece here. This is all one composite plastic molded piece uh, across the top. And it has uh, dimension, it has a lot of dimension to it. And uh, the way that it's designed physically gives it a lot of, of structure, a lot of uh, support and stiffness. And then backing all that, they have an, this other piece here that uh, kind of keys in along the edges and provides even more support. So compared to most of the, the small quadcopters that are out there, this is actually built more tough than uh, larger uh, quadcopters are that, that I've seen uh, that are you know just kind of the, the toy grade uh, sort of ones if, uh, as, as well as even some of the so-called hobby grade ones like the MQX. This is, huh, it's, it's different. It's definitely different. Uh, I'm not sure how much of an effect that'll actually have. What, I'm, what I am worried about is how much this thing weighs, even without a battery. Let me put a battery back in it. Uh, it's it's feeling kind of it's feeling it's feeling it's feeling kind of heavy, especially for its size. Yeah, there's some there's some definite mass there uh, for its tiny little size. So these these motors are going to be working. I'll tell you that right now. They're going to be just buzzing, especially these tiny little rotors keeping that thing up. Uh, but uh, that, I mean, there's really not that much that you can see uh, from the perspective of an, of an unboxing. You know, I've shown you the stuff that, that comes with this. Uh, it's really going to come down to how it actually performs. That's going to be the most interesting stuff, as usual. But uh, compared to uh, a lot of things that I, that I unbox where you can actually see the details of construction and whatnot, you can't really do that so much here just because... Well, it's, it's all enclosed. The controller, uh, you know, it's, it's, an, it's an all plastic thing, but uh, the sticks do feel pretty smooth. Um, there's, there's just the right amount of springiness, I think. Uh, I think that feels pretty good. It, it does center with authority. There's almost no play, if any, in, in the center right there on the right stick and on the left stick. Uh, this is pretty smooth. I can feel that it's plastic, but it has pretty smooth motion and then rudder has a similar spring to the to the right side. Kind of, I'm, I'm pretty pretty good with the the feeling of this. And you've got digital trims on there. Uh, once I get those batteries put in, uh, you'll see there there will be a little bit of a uh, display that comes up there. An LCD. It's got a little uh, screen protector on it. That's just for shipping. I'll take that off just to let you see. Once I get to doing the review, uh, you'll be able to see that more clearly. And uh, ah, maybe I was wrong about the purpose for this thing. Maybe the purpose for this thing is this thing. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, opening up the bag, that's that's unfortunate that uh, they require a Phillips screwdriver to hold this on. I I think for something that's being sold by this brand, they don't, they shouldn't need to worry, especially with lipos and stuff. This is intended to be a somewhat advanced level uh, product. Let me just look at the box again, see if it has a, a minimum age uh, recommendation is what I was looking for. I'm just looking at the box here. It says easy and fun skill level one, but they don't have the, as far as I can see a minimum age recommendation from the manufacturer or from Traxxas. But uh, I, I'm sure this is not being marketed to small children, so they don't need to have a child safe lock on the battery door. Just let us just... Uh, I'm actually going to take that off right now and just see if it's absolutely required or if you can leave that. Uh, out because that sometimes bugs me. I, I understand it for 
things that are made for small kids. They don't want kids to get into electronic items and start chewing on batteries and stuff. Uh, this this feels like it, it will hold itself. It's it's not the greatest hold, but honestly, I would rather leave the the screw in if I was just carrying this around because this is this you know if I've got it in the seat of a car or something that falls down, it's probably just going to open up and and uh, drop all those batteries out. So you kind of do need to have the the tiny little screw in there. Unfortunately, uh, no big deal, but I wish they didn't need that but anyway that does it for this video because like i said it's just an unboxing and again normally i wouldn't do it for a product like this but because it's traxxas and everybody's all oh it's traxxas oh it's gonna be awesome or oh it's traxxas oh it's gonna suck so <laughs> i wanted to uh get uh, my first video of it out as quickly as possible for folks who want to uh, form even more opinions without having tried the thing out but obviously putting the batteries in this thing, I'm going to be charging this thing up very soon and uh, as soon as possible, uh, which could be maybe as soon as tomorrow. Ah, but you don't know when tomorrow is because you don't know when this video is being recorded. Huh, very interesting. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I'll be giving, you know, doing the full test on this thing and, and see how it works out and give you some some flight videos and maybe some comparison to some other stuff that's on the market. Thanks for watching. That's it for now, and I'll catch you later.